I, I looked. I did a deep dive into their schedule this morning, right? Kind of that that I need to unplug from the Canes. Let me focus on something else. I brought up their schedule and I went through it, and and this was my takeaway. There are a lot of winnable games. There's a way, there's a path the Panthers can kind of shock some people this year with the pure number of wins. And here's the thing about it. I don't even know if they have to be like that great of a team to do it. Looking at just their non-divisional games, okay? So every year you're going to play the the Saints twice, the Falcons twice, and you're going to play the Bucks twice. And that is what it is, right? If all if they're all good, you're going to play them twice. If they're all bad, you're going to play them twice. It's going to be home and away. Can't really do much with that. But what I will say is this year they're not going to be all good, right? Maybe the Falcons are a bit better. Maybe the Bucks caught lightning in a bottle and it's going to continue with Baker Mayfield, but they lost their play caller. The the Saints are finally paying for all of the salary cap gymnastics they did for years and years and years. Like like none of those three teams tr- tremendously scare me. Looking at the non divisional games, the ones that kind of change every year, they play five of the eight teams with the worst Super Bowl odds in the league. And guess who has the worst Super Bowl odds in the league? The Panthers. So they play five of the other seven worst teams in the league when it comes to Super Bowl odds. They play Vegas. They play Washington. They play Denver. They play the Giants in Munich. And they play Arizona at different points in the season. Those teams are all in the bottom eight, bottom seven non-Carolina version of of teams' uh, Super Bowl odds right now. If you don't think at any point in time you you can stumble into a win against one of the bottom quarter, right? There's 32 teams, eight is the quarter. Bottom quarter teams in, in the league, what are we doing here, right? You Even the bad teams are still professional football players. Like even the bad teams, if, if you're the Panthers, you have to think you win, what, two or three of those? If you're not penciling in near 50% of your wins uh, against teams that are in the bottom quarter of the league in Super Bowl odds, then then get everybody out of the building and start over from scratch. Well, here's the thing. Those teams are doing the exact same thing. Like, whoa, hey, Carolina Panthers, hey, got a good shot at this one right here. Sure. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying they shouldn't. I'm afraid, matter of fact, for the exact same reason I'm giving, yeah. they should. You have three teams on your schedule, including your divisional games, that are in the top quarter of Super Bowl odds, meaning they have the the you know they'll be the lowest payouts. They're the best chances. Uh, that's Cincinnati in Week Four, Kansas City in Week Twelve, Philadelphia in Week Fourteen. Now Kansas City, you're getting after your bye week, so maybe there's something going on there where you can you can really you know use all of your your ammunition. Other than that, other than those games I just listed, all middle-of-the-pack teams, I see a lot of winnable games. Now, here's the hard part. The the Panthers are favored in none of those games, not a single one. If you go on the sports books right now, there uh, there is zero games that the, the Panthers are favored at the moment. Now, their win-loss total, if you're looking overall, is four and a half. So the the books are saying you're not favored to win any of the games, but they're expecting to be wrong about four times. Uh, That is best-case scenario for the Panthers. Best-case scenario, right? You're not playing so many of the big bad wolves that we would just go, yeah, that's probably a loss. Like, if we're being honest, the Kansas City game, the Philadelphia game, yeah, it's probably a loss. Even some of the middle of the pack, right? Like uh, a Chargers game or a Chicago game. I'm not looking at those and chalking them up as L's. Right? I used to go through every, every uh, you know, I used to do a more national show uh, and where we focused more on like the big picture of the professional leagues rather than the local teams. And I used to go through every single um uh, schedule, I almost said roster, and put W, L, or question mark before the season for every NFL roster. I don't know if I'm seeing too many W's or L's in this one. And that's not saying the Panthers are suddenly great. I'm saying they play a lot of also bad teams. This looks like a lot of question marks. 
And if you're a Panthers fan, this is this is you know, matter of fact, this ties in everything we were talking about with the Canes earlier today. Uh, the Canes, we can be disappointed with a second round exit in the postseason, based on everything that they've built, all the players that they've had, all the proven uh, accolades that they've acquired. With the Panthers, I think you should be pretty darn happy to just see a lot of question marks when we're talking which games are going to be wins and which games are going to be losses. You have different expectations. If I tell you you play Tampa and Atlanta in week 17 and 18, and I think you win one and lose one, and you can pick which one of those it is, the Panthers should be celebrating. They're going, wait a second, did you say that? Parse that out through an entire entire, uh, uh, schedule, win one, lose one, we're nearing 500, sign me up. You know, we've kind of said, you know, and I think, Dennis, you agree with this, but correct me if I'm wrong, uh, five to six wins? Yeah, that's where I'm sitting at, the five, six wins. But you know what? That's fine. Progress. I think there's a world where they win eight. I think Things have to break their way, but I can see I think see there's it. a world where they win three. And I think most of the, the simulations that I run in my own brain are five or six wins. I don't think Panthers fans recognize yet how much more enjoyable a six-win season is than a two- or a three-win season. It's It may not seem like much because it's not like six wins is sniffing the playoffs, mm. right? You're you're still in the, the basement. You're still probably near the bottom of your division. You're still thinking top 10 pick. So you still feel like you're in the dungeon, but it, it, it's just like you're not going eight weeks without a win, right? Because if you win six games, it's not like you win six in a row, right? It's They're going to be spread out. It's not like we were the best team until – so week seven, and then we lost everything. It's you just don't have those long, just stretches of despair, right? You get to go. Well, at least we won two weeks ago. Or hey, you know what? That that uh that Giants game's coming up. I think we can win that one in Munich. Like there's just a little bit more hope, and it completely changes the entirety of the season. So the upbeatness you hear in my voice is not just because I'm trying to talk about something positive with the Canes ending their season yesterday. <laughs> the upbeat you hear in my voice is also not me saying, I think the Panthers are going to make the postseason or something crazy. The upbeat in my voice is, we might avoid a two-month losing streak next year. Let's go. And I look at the the schedule, and I see winnable games kind of in every month. And, and in most of them, multiple winnable games in each month. So you don't even have to bat 100% in the games where you're playing another bad team to dramatically improve your season. At least just be competitive, right? Exactly. Don't get blown out. Have fourth quarters that matter. How about this? Something that the Panthers didn't do at all last year. Not a single second. Have the lead in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Panthers had two wins last year, both on kicks as time expired. The the Panthers did not have a a single second in the po- uh, in the fourth quarter of a game last year that they were in the lead. I can say it with my chest, I don't think that happens this year. <laughs> they might not go a month without having a fourth quarter lead. And for your for your optimism that it, for your your just like. I don't know, joy in being a fan. That is huge. 